hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified anytime i post a new video so i did already prep my nails and applied my peel off base coat off camera now i am going to be applying my gel base coat and curing that for 30 seconds so i'm basically doing an a press dupe method with a dip powder overlay so i'm going to be applying my full covered nail tips so in this video i'm using my mccart full covered nail tips i'm using my four in one gel base coat from Bellavina, which is also known as double dip i like using this base coat to adhere my full covered nail tips because it has a thicker consistency so it allows the nails to be adhered pretty well compared to the thinner gel base coats that gives a lot of trouble so i am using that and i'm also using my melody suzy led uv nail lamp for this nail set i love using this nail lamp to adhere my full covered nail tips because it's a lot easier to use i really like it you get to see everything and cure the nails so it ensures that the nails are cured pretty straight most of the time so i'm just going to be doing that i just apply some of the gel base coat inside of the nail tip and then i apply it to my nail and cure in the nail lamp make sure that your gel base coat isn't in the line of sight of the uv nail lamp because that can cure your gel base coat in the bottle and you don't want that to happen because it will ruin your gel base coat so as you all can see i do have my gel base coat at the side of the nail lamp so it isn't in clear sight of the nail lamp so it wouldn't cure so yeah i'm just going to be applying all of the nail tips like this and then when i am finished i cure in my bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds so i don't think i mentioned but i am going to be doing a valentine inspired nail set today and this nail set is really good i really like how it turned out it is inspired by a picture i saw on instagram i think or pinterest i don't remember but i will leave the picture right here so yes this is the nail set i'm going to be recreating using Using dip powders so now i am just going to be cleaning around the cuticle area with my cuticle bit just to remove any of the gel base coat that may have seeped out when i was applying the nails so i'm doing that right here Next, I'm just going to be using my hand file to file the sides and the free edge of the nails just to get that crisp shape. I really love that crisp shape. So I'm just doing that with the hand file on all of the nails. And I would recommend doing this because most nail tips, um, the edges of most nail tips are rounded. So by filing the sides and the free edge of these nails, it allows the nails to be super sharp. And I really like the super sharp look. If you all don't like the super sharp look, I wouldn't do this step, but I really like it. And now I'm just using the hand file to file the surface of the nails to remove the shine. So starting with this dip powder from Revel Nail, it's called Ensemble and this is my favorite nude dip powder from Revel Nail. So I'm going to be using that and I'm also going to be using my Pro Dip Finish Gel. This is a dip powder top coat but i am using it as a dip powder base because i can do that you can always use your dip powder top coat as dip powder base it's basically the same thing so i like to do that because i don't really apply my dip powder top coat 
to my depowder nails i just apply my gel top coat to the nails because i like the shine of the gel top coat the depowder top coat isn't as shiny for too long so that's why i don't use it as depowder top coat so on the pinky nail i apply a layer of the depowder base and then i pour the ensemble the powder this is in real time so i'm just showing you guys how i you know do my depowder nails in real time because i know a lot of y'all like to see that if y'all don't like to see it in real time y'all can speed up the process i think there is some settings that you can use to speed up the video so anyway I am going to be doing the pinky nail, middle nail and the thumbnail basically doing the same thing on all of those nails. So I'm just going to be showing a few layers. I'm not going to be showing all of the layers. I believe I did three or four layers on these nails but I think I only showed two layers. I'm not too sure. So yes, I'm just showing the process of how I do my nails. And when I do my nails, I always make sure that around the cuticle area, I don't apply too much of the depowder base because you can flood the cuticles and you don't want to do that because it would be difficult and it would be painful when you have to file around the cuticle area and there is a buildup of the powder around that area so you don't want that so here i'm just speeding up the process because it's basically repetitive so i didn't want the video to be too long and i know you all know what i'm doing so i'm just speeding up the process right here so i apply a layer of the de powder base and then i pour the ensemble de powder So I believe I did three or four layers as I said before. I didn't count it and I'm not 100% sure but I know I didn't do a lot of layers. I think it was three or four. So yeah, this is how it looks from the side. And I did the thumbnail off camera. Now I'm just going to be applying activator to those nails just to harden the nails. The longer the activator is applied, the harder the nails would get. So it would be easier for me when I'm finished with all of the nails just to start filing. Now onto the ring nail, I'm basically going to be doing the same thing. However, I'm not going to the tip of the nail. I am leaving out the tip of the nail. So I applied my de powder base from the cuticle area to three quarter of the nail, you would say. And then I poured the ensemble de powder and I'm doing that for the index nail as well. And I'm doing about two layers of that or three i think either two or three layers of that on the ring nail and the index nail i want these nails to be opaque but i don't want them to be too thick because i still have to encapsulate these nails so that's why i don't want to build these nails too much i just want an opaque nail that's basically what i'm going for right here
so I decided to do a third layer I could have stopped on the second layer because the nail was opaque kind of but I preferred a much more opaque nail so on the third layer is where I got the opacity I wanted and what I would also recommend is to try your best to get these layers as smooth as possible mine wasn't smooth at all like it was a bit bumpy at the nail bed area in some areas and I didn't like that so I apply my activator to harden the index and the ring nail right here and wait for them to harden so yes I didn't like the fact that the surface of the index nail and the ring nail wasn't as smooth as I would have liked it to be. It was a bit bumpy so I'm just filing that area because I do have to encapsulate these nails so I want when it's encapsulated that it looks smooth and you know really nice and stuff. So I'm just filing the index nail and the ring nail just to get a smooth surface. So this is how the index and the ring nail looks after filing the surface of the nails. Now I'm going to be using Tunnel of Love from Shameless Nails. This is a very pretty pink glitter dip powder. In some angles this glitter looks a bit orange but it looks pink too so um, I don't know what color it is. So anyway on the ring nail I apply my dip powder base and then I laid my finger into the dip powder. So I really didn't think this section through as much as I should have. I should not have used the powder base but let's keep going and I will explain. So I'm just trying to clean around the sides of the nails and stuff making sure that it is neat. And the reason why I laid my finger is because I wanted the glitters to lay flat. So next I applied another layer and laid my finger and then I cleaned the sides of the nails and stuff and it's here that I realized that this isn't going to work but I already reached a bit too far so I decided to continue so I'm just using my hand file just to get the sides of the nails as neat as possible and now I decided that I was going to use some gel base coat so I placed some gel base coat on my nail palette and I'm going to be using my dip powder base so now I apply some of my dip powder base to areas that needed the glitter and then I'm using my dotting tool so I dip my dotting tool in the gel base coat and picked up a glitter and placed it on the nail so the glitter is being adhered with the powder base. However, I do not know why I decided to cure that because that didn't make any sense but I was confused throughout this video because I don't know what I was doing. I was, I was a bit too confused so yeah I just applied some more of my dip powder base and then I'm sprinkling the glitter because I was getting a harsh line of demarcation it wasn't looking like an ombre a glitter ombre nail because this dip powder has a lot of powder you know it's not just glitter so the powder is also opaque so it leaves a harsh line of demarcation where I really didn't anticipate there to be so yeah that was a lot for me because this was my first time using this glitter for a first time in a long time so I didn't know exactly what was happening so I was a bit confused so anyway I decided to leave that ring nail and move on to the index nail to see if I could do a better job so I'm using gel base coat this time only so I apply a layer of the gel base coat and then I just 
sweep some of the glitter on the tip of the index nail because I didn't know what else to do so I just sweep some of the glitter on the index nail and then I make sure and pat the glitters in place so that it lays flat and then I flash cured that and I saw a harsh line of demarcation again because the powder in this glitter the powder is very opaque so it showed a harsh line so I decided to do another layer and yeah I did the same thing make sure to sweep the glitter and kind of rub the glitter in a bit and I flash cured and then I applied a little more of the gel base coat again and then I just rub the brush into the gel base coat just to get that type of ombre thingy it kind of worked it kind of didn't i don't know and when i'm satisfied with how it looks i flash cured that for a few seconds again so yeah i did a lot of that it was a bit challenging on the ring nail it was a little better on the index nail but it is what it is i that was a learning experience for me because i don't know why i got so much issues doing that i really didn't think it through and the fact that this glitter had powder and glitter so the powder was super opaque along with the glitter so it was a lot so anyway moving on i applied some of my activator to the ring nail because the ring nail was bumpy it was very bumpy and it was dusty so i just wanted to do that because i did use the powder base and the powder on the ring nail so yeah i just applied activator just to clean it off and to remove any of the dust and now i'm just going to be encapsulating these glitter nails so on the index nail i apply my the powder base and then i pour on my clear the powder and then i'm using activator so that the nail is super clear when you use activator in between clear the powder nails it allows the nails to be a lot clearer than it would usually be because it reduces the amount of bubbles in the nail and stuff like that so always remember if you're doing that to when you're doing your second layer of the powder base Make sure to clean the brush before placing it back in the dip powder bottle because if the powder base gets into contact with activator, it would harden the base brush and it did harden my base brush. Unfortunately, I guess I did something wrong. So I'm just going to be um, placing my de powder base brush in my brush cleaner in order to fix the situation. So this is how the nails are looking and the ring nail is very bumpy there is a lot of holes in the ring nail because of the fact that i because of the fact that the glitters were not laying flat some of the glitters were flat then some were sticking out so when i encapsulated the nail it still left the nail very bumpy and i didn't want to encapsulate the nail too much so you know i was just hoping for the best so i filed the nails off camera and this is after filing it looks a lot better but there are still a few holes in the ring nail it was a lot it was a lot so i'm just trying to show you guys you know i'm going in different angles so that you all can see how bumpy the ring nail really is but the index nail looks really good it's really smooth so yeah i'm just going to be applying some activator so that you all can see something i don't know why i applied activator i was hoping you all could see something with all of the dust on the nail i thought you all couldn't see so yeah i'm just trying but i don't think it worked so i was going to redo the ring nail but i decided not to i was like this was too much work too much stress so i'm just going to apply a thick layer of gel top coat and that should fix it and by the way it did fix it it wasn't as bumpy or holy <laughs> so yes i'm applying my gel top coat to the middle nail pinky nail and the thumbnail 
and by the way this is the reason why i like using gel top coat because if i were to use my depowder top coat on the ring nail you would still see all the holes and the dips in the ring nail but by using the gel top coat it got into all of those holes and filled up the holes to make the nail look really smooth so that's why i like to use it so i cured this layer of gel top coat for 30 seconds Now I'm going to be using my Nail Addict White Gel Polish. This is one of my favorite white gel polishes to use. So I'm just going to be placing some on my nail palette. And I'm going to be using my McCart Nail Art Brush and I'm going to be doing some V French nails. So I'm just going to let you guys watch how I do my V French nails and I'll be back shortly. And by the way, if you all have reached this far in the video, I want to thank you for watching the video. Thank you for clicking on the video and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. This really helps the channel when you do all of those things. So I cured that for 30 seconds and this is how it looks. I did do a second layer as well off camera. Now moving on to the middle nail, I am doing the same thing. And I also did two layers on that nail as well and I did the pinky nail off camera. So on the thumbnail as you all saw at the edge right there it was a bit rough and that is because I didn't clean the sides of the nails before placing it in the lamp and when I remembered it was like two or three seconds into placing it in the lamp so when I took it out to try to clean the side of the nail it got bumpy because it was in the process of curing so yeah. Now I'm just going to be drawing some hearts with this pink gel polish. So I placed some of the pink gel polish on my nail palette and I'm just going to be using my dotting tool to place two dots and then I am just going to be doing my hearts on the nails. So I'm just going to let this part play out so that you all can see how I'm drawing my hearts and I'll be back shortly.
so it has been about an hour so i'm just going to switch back the brush applicators from the brush cleaner into the dip powder base brush so i'm just going to be cleaning the brushes before applying it back to its respective bottles and yeah that's basically it that's how you clean your brushes if it gets hardened that's how you clean your base brush if and when it gets hard so anyways moving back to top coating the index nail and the ring nail i am using my mccart gel top coat and this gel top coat is really thick so i'm happy about that for the fact that it would get into the ring nail get into the holes and the bumps of the ring nail to ensure that i have a smooth ring nail and i forgot to mention i am also top coating all of the nails because i did do the nail art on the middle nail pinky nail and thumbnail so yes yeah, so i'm just top coating all of the nails right here and then i cured for 30 seconds So this is how the nails are looking so far and I really like it. Now I'm just going to be applying my cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails. So guys this is the finished look and I think it turned out really good I really like how it looked I was surprised that the glitter ombres even looked this good I was expecting a hot mess but it didn't turn out like that and I'm happy about that I love how this new set turned out let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and I was shocked to know that these glitters glow in the dark so you would be seeing a clip of that at the end of the video I didn't even know that I just decided to take off my light and I saw the glue and I was like oh my goodness this is perfect so yeah let me know what you guys think about this new set in the comment below and I hope you all are having a great day hope you all are having or will have a great Valentine's Day so yeah let me know what you guys think thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one bye guys